Now You See Him, Now You Don't is a 1972 Disney film directed by Robert Butler and stars Kurt Russell as Dexter Riley. And it's quite interesting. This is about a, a student who creates uh, this this potion, this, this concoction that makes the wearer invisible. For example, when they first discover this, they spray it on their hands um, and their hands are invisible. And I have to say, the special effects are from the 70s put it that way but in a way that's rather charming for today and it was it was pretty decent it wasn't too bad and a lot of the narrative is not that interesting I'll be perfectly honest a lot of this takes place during a game of golf and it goes on for way longer than it needed to to begin with I thought okay this is an interesting location I didn't expect the narrative to take us to a golf course this is quite different and then it just seemed to go on and on. And I thought, well, you've really worn this really thinly. Can we move on now, please? So I feel like the pacing's a little bit awkward. It's not so much that the golf scene wasn't good. It was that it was too long. And that's not that great. However, there is an element involving a criminal. And the fact that the criminal wants to get their hands on this invisibility potion because... Well, if you're invisible, imagine the crimes you could do without anybody noticing. And there is obviously some tension there and some uncertainty about what's going to happen. And that part of the narrative I thought was okay. It played out quite well. With regards to the characters, I think Dexter Riley was really interesting. The other students are, you know, interesting enough characters. Um, yeah, there was no character that I thought was annoying or poorly written or underdeveloped. And all of the performances are very good as well. As I said, with regards to the special effects, yeah, they're a little rough around the edges for today, but in the 70s, not so bad. And I think things look um, not, not too bad at all. Would I recommend the film? I think so. I can't imagine I'd ever watch it again, but at the same time, it's a very easy watch. So now that I've seen it once, it's definitely a film that I could put on if I needed background noise. If I needed, you know, something in the background that I could kind of dip in and out of, this would be a pretty good film for that. Because it ticks all of the right boxes. There's nothing wrong with it, minus the slightly longer than it needed to be golf scene. And I found it to be quite pleasant, a decent narrative, a good development. I think an otherwise good pacing, once we take that scene out of consideration. Good acting, of course, and some rather charming special effects. If you are, like me, attempting to watch every Disney feature film and you haven't seen Now You See Him, Now You Don't, I'd say this is not a bad one to put near the top of your watch list. I'd say I rather enjoyed it.